Davins. I'm a registered dietitian and a spokesperson for the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. I am preparing for a TV segment tomorrow morning on fruits and vegetables, and I thought I would kind of do a practice run through with you and um, show you my beautiful display of food that I've worked so hard on and uh, do a run through. So um, obviously when I'm on TV, I'll have an anchor with me, but tonight I'm just solo. Um, so the reason we're doing this segment is because we know, we all know that we need to eat more fruits and vegetables, but we're not getting enough. The CDC, the Centers for Disease Control, um, reports that less than one third of Americans are getting the minimum five servings of fruits and vegetables every day. So we know we need to do more, we're not doing it. There's a lot of reasons, um, but I think as a registered dietitian that one of the reasons is because we hear about all the pesticides and produce and there's a bit of a fear factor there. Should we do organic? Should we do conventional? Um, does it have to be fresh? What about canned, frozen, that sort of a thing. So I'm here to give a little bit more information about the health benefits of fruits and vegetables and some easy tips on how you can get more in your diet. So first of all, we know that the health benefits of fruits and vegetables far outweigh any minute exposure to pesticides. So the bottom line here today is don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Get your fruits and vegetables. Um, the Dietary Guidelines for Americans suggest about one and a half to two cups of fruit and two to three cups of vegetables every day, depending on your age and gender. So we know we need to eat more, so how can we try to get more into our diet? Um, the first step is to pick up these wonderful types of uh, fruits and vegetables at your grocery store and, and choose a variety. Don't get stuck in the same old rut. Try new things. Um, and make sure that the food isn't hidden away when you do get home. Um, put a bowl of fruit out on your counter so that it's visible. You'll walk by it. It might make you want to pick up some fruit. Don't hide the fruits and vegetables away in the crisper drawer where you forget about them and they rot. Then you just end up wasting your money. Um, but instead, put those fruits and vegetables out on the shelf in the refrigerator so that you see them every time you open the refrigerator. Another thing I like to do is prepare the fruits and vegetables right away when you get home. Don't wait. Go ahead and bag up grape tomatoes, um, baby carrots, get dried fruit and make a trail mix, um, cut up bell peppers and put them in baggies, and put those right on the shelf so you can see them in the refrigerator again so they're easy to grab and go. Make it simple. So does it have to be fresh? Um, as a registered dietitian, I'm very happy to tell you that I do not survive and my family does not survive just on fresh fruits and vegetables. We use canned, dried, and frozen to help supplement through the week. Not only does it save money, but it does provide the same important nutrients. So some of my favorites are frozen edamame and um, canned beans. And if you are getting canned vegetables, you do want to try to get no salt added or reduced sodium. Um, but rinsing does help. With beans, if you rinse them, you can reduce the sodium content by about 40%. If you're getting canned fruit, um, you want to get it canned in water, not in syrup. And then dried fruit is a wonderful option as well and can make really nice um, little trail mix um, snacks. Um, and try something different. One of my favorite vegetables is roasted red peppers in a jar, um, something you just might not think of. And there's also convenience items like bagged up green beans or broccoli slaw instead of regular salad that might give you a little variety and a little different flavor. But one of the things that is really important that most people are not aware of is that all fruits and vegetables should be washed, whether they're organic or conventional. Um, and by washing, I mean simply with water and a fruit and vegetable brush. You don't need detergents or soaps. You should not use that because that actually soaks into the food. Um, so only water and a vegetable brush, and um, that's very important. And then the last tip I have for you, I have a wonderful recipe, a Southwestern black bean um, quinoa and mango salad. Um, this recipe is by a fellow dietitian, Sharon Palmer. Um, her book, The Plant Power Diet, just came out last month. And I can tell you one of the things I love about the salad, besides the way it tastes, is that it uses frozen corn, and canned black beans. So it fits really nicely with my messages today. And it smells wonderful, it tastes great, it's super easy to make. It has eight grams of fiber and eight grams of protein. So it's packed with nutrition, it's cost effective, and it's delicious. And I think it will wow your guests if you make it for them. So that's pretty much everything that I wanted to cover today. Um, 
we need to eat more, um, let's go out and do it. Let's not make it any harder for ourselves than it has to be. It's hard enough. And all of these tips and the recipe and more, um, more information about pesticides, how to get more fruits and vegetables, um, are um, linked to this uh, segment. So I will share that with you. And um, I look forward to seeing you next time. And thanks for doing this run through with me. And I'll see you on live TV in the morning. Thanks.